Hi there folks, it's a uh, host uh, for reviewing the uh, Thermo Rest um, Ridge Rest Solite. Um, I got the, well I've not opened it up yet, I've got, uh, I've got the one that rolls up because, rather than the one that folds up, because the one that folds up costs more money, but it's the same thing where it just folds up instead of rolls up I believe, and um, it looks like it would, to be honest, the one that folds up looks a bit like it will wear out quite quick. And I do camp, go camping quite a lot, so I'm wanting one that's going to last longer. And to me, this this would be a lot easier packing in my bag than the one that folds up. Because I like rolling them up and putting it on the outside of the bag, and the folding up one just looks a little bit, I know, it just looks a little bit awkward, so... Maybe I can roll the mat around my tent, um, like I do with my other mats. But it's it's quite it's quite a thick mat, so it might be a little bit too big for that. So we'll find out when I go next go well later on this video when I next go hiking, which will be on this video, which you're going to see. So um, yeah, so it says um, warmest, most comfortable clothes cell pad, and um, I've just been using cheap foam pads for you know, quite some time now and um, yeah and I've been camping out this winter and I've really noticed in the cold lately so uh, my, sli my, my winter sleeping bags probably needs washing to be honest but um, I probably won't wash it into the summer because then I can dry it out a lot easier because um, you're supposed to dry them, off, dry them slowly really so I'm going to get it a proper clean in the summer um, so yeah, uh, so efficient warmth thermo catcher service surface surface boosts warmth, reducing heat back to reflecting heat back to your body. Let me just put my glasses on a minute, ah, so I can actually see what it says. So yeah, surface boosts warmth, reflecting heat back to your body. Uh, soft peaks and heat. Trapping valleys provide exceptional comfort. Uh, virtual indestructible closed cell foam provides long-lasting economic comfort. Comfort. Um, so yeah, so let's open it up. Um, not a lot to see really. It's like uh, let me let, let me uh, unroll this for you and. Uh, Okay, so that's the, the mat all unrolled, basically. It's a little bit um, rolled up down there still. But yeah, that's it. So that's the end bit. There. And then all up there. Just a lay on it, and it is, it is pretty comfortable. I'm just looking at the packing here. And I got the regular size, and I'm quite a short ass. I'm not, I'm not uh, tall. Don't ask me how tall I am, because I don't really care, but... Um, Basically, this regular one is just about basically just about my size. It's a little bit bigger than me, so um, it's just right, really. The small one would be way too small for me. Uh, the large one, too big, so it'd been pointless. So I've got the right size one. Luckily, I didn't even really check the measurements or anything. I just guessed the regular one would probably be the best one. Um, so it's got the uh, the sizes here. So. Um, I'm guessing uh, what we got here. Um, so that's centimeters at the bottom and the inches at the top. So let's do centimeters because I do metrics. But you can, if you if you want to look at the inches, it's um, don't know if you can see that it's on the uh, video there. But anyway, so um, it's uh, the length is 183 centimeters, and the width is. 51 centimeters. Um, the thickness, I'm guess, guessing that's what that means. The thickness of it is 1.5 uh, centimeters, and you've got the inch inch measurements there as well. And uh, in grams as well, you've got the uh, weight in grams here as well. Uh, it's four, according to this, it's 400 grams the uh, weight of the um, the mat. So um, yeah, oh, I know we've got a little. Uh, there's a little temperature rating here. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, I'm guessing 
it's got the R value. Like, you know, I've not really looked into all this sort of thing for mats before, so yeah, I'm guessing um, this is. If you know what that means, then yeah, but I, I'm not sure to be honest, so I'm not going to say anything on that. But apparently, it's going to be warmer than your standard foam mats. So, um, well, folks, um, I've just uh, weighed the mat. Um, without the packing, just the mat on its own. And in fact, the regular size one I've just uh, bought is actually 300, according to the scales, um, is uh, 390 grams. I don't know if you can see that. Thermo rest, uh, ridge rest, um, thermo rest, ridge rest uh, mat tonight. Um, it is the Equinox, uh, spring Equinox, but I am on Dartmoor up a hill. And there is a uh, snow still. Can you see? It's been snowing, and it's still it's probably like zero Celsius at the moment. Uh, so let's see if that keeps me warm. Tested out the um, Thermo uh, Rest Ridge Rest. Uh, I think it's called a Solite. It's the silver one with the what rolls up it's the roll mat one not the foldy one because I think the roll mat one looks stronger than the foldy one the foldy one looks like it uh, fall apart quite easy um, and I just find the rolled up one a lot more easier to put on the bag myself and um, that's just personal preference um, so slipped on it last night um, it's definitely warmer I'm not sure how much warmer because um, it's hard to say, but it's definitely warmer. Um, so much warmer that it's worth having. I definitely recommend it. Um, and not only that, compared to my, you know, a standard foam mat which I've been using before, um, I'm finding it more comfortable. It feels much more comfortable. Um, however, it is a lot more bulkier when you roll it up than a standard um, foam mat. Um, but not so much so that I can't put it on the bottom of my bag with a very small tent like this um, F10 Helium Van Gogh tent. I put that inside the roll mat, then um, put it on the bottom of my bag um, on the outside. Uh, the, the grooves are supposed to keep the heat in and they, and they do make it quite comfortable actually. Uh, but every time you move on it, it sounds like one of those... Uh, you know, like um, bubble wrap, when you're popping bubble wrap, it sounds a bit like that. Like, when you're popping, yeah, it sounds a bit like that. Uh, but, um, yeah, so far it's, it's it's definitely keeping me warmer than um, your standard foam mat. So, for £27, which is a lot for a foam mat, which it is a foam mat, um, but it's not, your, you know, obviously like the standard one. But for £27, I think it's worth it. It's um, definitely worth it. I'd, I'd definitely recommend one so far. I slept on the uh, Thermo Rest uh, Ridge Rest. Uh, I think it's a So Light or something like that. It's the silver one. It's a roll-up one, the slightly cheaper roll-up one, uh, not the fold-up one. I just preferred the roll-up one. I think they're both the same. Just one rolls up and one folds up. Um, I found it m way more comfortable than a standard foam mat. Um, so if you're used to using a standard foam map, you'll find it much more comfortable. And in the colder months, like now it's the actual first day of spring, um, like and it's snow outside, it was probably like minus something last night. And I found this much warmer than using my foam map. There was a like a real noticeable difference. Uh, so I would say the 27 quid I paid for this was well worth it. I'd, I'd definitely uh, recommend it. It is quite, compared to a normal... Um, foam mat it is is much more bulky and it's probably I don't know if it's a little bit more heavier probably a little bit more heavier um, but I wouldn't use it in the summer I'd use it in the colder months I use a lighter standard foam mat in the summer but um, definitely in the colder months like spring autumn and winter definitely this this I'll be using